Hello, this is Gloria Kavikazi with The Dietary Factor, a show brought to you by Forever Media TV. Forever Media TV is on all platforms. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we are on YouTube. You can find us and then press that like button and follow us. We bring you useful tips everyday life on how to handle your health using things that are in your kitchen or in the market. So today we are going to address a very sensitive topic that is kind of taboo to society. Uh, growing up as little girls, we were almost made to fear our private parts. You know, you start to discover yourself when you start to grow boobs and all. But before that, it's, you even get scared of looking at yourself down there. So now, I, th I feel like it's about time that the average woman got used to being in touch with her vagina that we are going to call our honeypots. It's a very sensitive topic. Women up to 50 years, that are some that I know of, have never actually got in a mirror and looked down there. So a lot of us are struggling with our health down there. We don't know when something is off, and which has given the men notion that some women, actually that all women smell. I know a lot of men that have this notion that women don't smell so good down there. But it's not supposed to smell. If it does, that means your diet is off. And you can fix it just using things in your kitchen. So the normal pH of that place, of the honeypot, is supposed to be between 3.8 and 50. It can also be four, but this also varies with seasons. It comes with age when you're dealing with menopause. It can come with menstrual cycle. Also, when you're pregnant, a lot of times you'll be dealing with this and that. There's itches and there's UTIs. Then there's, you're dealing with a whole lot. Your, your discharge changes. All these things can be fixed with one thing, just your dad. I'm just gonna give you seven tips on how to manage your vaginal health. So that you, for those of you that are dating, that have active sexual lives, this is also very crucial because for you to be able to enjoy that act, it has to be healthy. It doesn't have to have an itch. The discharge is supposed to be normal. Also, you should know what a normal discharge looks like depending on when or what you're dealing with. If you're uh, ovulating, you're supposed to know what it looks like. The discharge usually is egg whites. Like it's, it, it's like that slippery egg whitish. It shouldn't have any smell. When you're pregnant, it's supposed to be a little bit off, almost like off, off the regular whites, like, you know, you should be able to tell, but all of this shouldn't come with any smell. So, the first tip that I'll give is just the normal water. Water is very healthy, water is life. And then when you stay hydrated, it also keeps that place lubricated. So when you're having sex with your man, you don't have to struggle using lube, you don't have to struggle with dryness. So make sure that you drink enough water and avoid cold water also. Make sure that whatever water you'll be taking at all times is warm, room temperature. Then Canberry juice. This one we were told about it when we were pregnant. For those of you that are mothers, it helps uh, keep the pH uh, balanced down there. Yeah, but also when you're looking for the Canberry juice, always look for the natural sugar-free one. When you go to the supermarket, you check. Before you take it to the counter, just read and see if it's natural and sugar-free, that one is the best. It keeps that place very thingy, and it also uh, prevents UTIs. It keeps the urinary tract fresh. It keeps the bacteria there good. Then also number three is probiotics. Probiotics can, uh, can be yogurts, for example, yogurts. Also pickles. For those of you that are adventurous with food, pickles also have a probiotic. Probiotics have live cultures. Now the live cultures in them have got the same bacteria that, is, that they consider the good bacteria for the honeypots. So that place also smells, it stays fresh. Then there's also the usual pineapples. They've said that when you have a healthy diet that involves pineapples, that that place smells, it also starts to smell like pineapples. So for those of you that are very adventurous in the bedroom, the men that have men that are ad adventurous that like to go down, I'm very sorry that we're talking about this, but these are things that people need to address and uh, a lot of times people don't have the chance to do that. So now me, I'll come out straight and tell you, if your man likes to go down, make sure that you include pineapples in your diet. So that it smells like pineapple, so he loves it when he goes down there. And then one that uh, is very interesting is sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes have got vitamin A that uh, helps the vaginal walls stay tight. So you don't have to suffer with herbs and all these things that they be, you know, advertising here and there. 
You don't have to insert things in there to, to keep tight. A diet that contains sweet potatoes will keep the vaginal walls tight. For some of us that have had babies and had natural baths, it uh, brings the walls back in into tightness and also it keeps the uterine walls healthy because uh, yeah it also keeps you energized so when your man taps you at night and then you start to say no not tonight no that doesn't happen because you have the energy in you to be able to satisfy him so, yeah so involve sweet potatoes also in your diet and um, we also have pumpkin seeds pumpkin seeds uh, are known for having zinc and usually they say that they help men that are past their 50s stay healthy uh, fight prostate cancer but also for women it helps because they are high in zinc they normalize your menstrual cycle for those of the women that are still flowing before you hit menopause so you have a regular menstrual cycle you don't miss today then tomorrow then then you start to get endometriosis and things like that it also regulates hormones and it boosts your mood always pumpkin seeds you can have pumpkin seeds uh, if you go to a supermarket it's very easy to find these if you can't buy them at the supermarket you can actually buy pumpkins before you boil or cook them you pull the seeds out dry them and then you can grill them in your oven or wherever yeah so it boosts your mood and then we have hot chilies there is a notion that hot chilies affect that part that when someone takes a lot of uh, uh, pepper that you start to taste peppery down there or even feel peppery that's not right because hot chilies contain a component of chili peppers that stimulates arousal for women that deal with a very low uh, sex drive that's the last thing you want to deal with so apparently chili also helps you boost your sexual mood so you're always ready at any time always wait always ready always lubricated so also involved always involve hot chilies in your diet so those were the seven tips that i really had to tell you guys about let us be in touch with our vaginal health let us keep that place clean let's take away that uh, bad thing that people have running around about women not smelling nice always make sure that even you if you touch yourself after you've had a bath after like two hours of touching yourself you still have that natural beautiful scent that the vagina is supposed to have so don't forget to follow us forever media tv we are on all platforms facebook youtube we bring to you the best content we have the beautiful most beautiful uh, tips on whatever when it comes to dieting this is gloria kamikaze until next time bye